Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. So quick get the old spill out of the way first quickly. If you haven't already please um subscribe. I, I really appreciate it. As of time of recording this video, I was up to 146 subscribers. 146 that's crazy. Oh my god. Um yeah, um leave me a comment down what you think of this seller and also um Please give me a big, if you like this video, give me a like. That's what I'm trying to think of. That wasn't so quick, was it? No, because Gemma, when she tries rushing, she just completely messes up. Well done, Gemma. <laughs> so, this week's seller is... Um, brilliant Serpent Store. I am lucky. I've had a few, quite a few arrive this week, so I haven't got to panic. I've got another freak in my little basket behind me so yeah i can now relax because i have got a few behind me yes so this week's victim is brilliant serpent store on aliexpress this the flower paint is self cost three pound 58 there's free shipping there was an aliexpress saving of 46p and tax cost me 62p and so it was a grand total of three pound 47 or 25 25. i actually ordered it in round because i know that some people like to see a few more rounds so this is a 20 by 25 round um i ordered this on the 8th of march and it arrived today the 30th of march so yeah excellent uh, pretty good shipping times they really was so let's change you guys around and let's see what we get inside Right, so yeah, like I said, I have checked it very quickly to make sure the diamond painting drills. That was it. I haven't actually looked at it properly or nothing. And since I had the wrong one arrive, I have gotten extremely paranoid. Please excuse my disgusting hands. I've been out in the garden all afternoon and I need the good old scrub in the bath to get them clean so i'm really sorry about my disgusting hands but the weather here in the uk is absolutely beautiful and it's a shame not to use it make the most of it hey eh, guys right so five little in our in our toolkit five little ziploc bags they don't get us very far little pair of tweezers peak pen a large square of wax and a white tray so you're basically your bog standard kit as this slipped down she seemed to have moved on me excuse me i am not moving you guys around right there you go Drills. Obviously, with round drills, they're slightly more different than square. But I do know, like some people like to see me do the odd round drill. Right, mm -hmm. No free tens again, guys. So, again, three three seven one is our darkest color. I am resourced about my disgusting hands. Draw quality is excellent. Very, very nice. Very, very sparkly. Cannot complain about them at all. The lightest colour I reckon is three eight to five five, I think. Thank you. 
I haven't tipped the whole bag out. But again, they look excellent quality. So I can't, really can't fault them at all. Right, so obviously we get the inventory list with it. Right. Yep, pretty much excellent. Right, so the moment of truth is the print. Pretty good print, nice and clear. You cannot complain about the clearness of the print, it's very up. Oh, Right, hold it up for you guys. The print is nice and clear. You really cannot fault it. We turn that obviously you might be able to see it better. Nope, because of the leaf ring, ring light. Let me get the ring light. There we go. That's better, isn't it? So the print is absolute, it's excellent. I can't fault the print. Every single symbol I can see clearly. So yeah, I think the print is lovely. We've got 20 colours in this. Let me hold you up nice and close. We've got 20 colours. So yeah, not as many as, I think this has been the lowest we've had in colours. But, <coughs> sorry, I'm wheezing. But the print's excellent, so I'm actually looking forward to doing this, and obviously I want to do more rounds and everything. I thought I'd quickly go show you all something quickly. I'm losing light now because it's about seven o'clock in the evening. I got myself a new pen. What do you think? I got it um, from Zuya. I've got. I ordered one of their. I ordered one of their little customs. So I ordered this at the same time. This only cost me a couple of quid, and it's a really nice pen. It feels really nice to hold. And yeah, I really like it. I put, obviously put my forehand bit in it. didn't come with that, but it came with a load of attachments. And it was only a couple of quid. So yeah, it was like one pound odd for the pen, and then about a pound shipping. So yeah, I don't mind paying a little bit of shipping if it, pay, if it works out cheaper in the long run for it. So but yeah, I actually really like it. We hold it closer for you. I think it's a really, really pretty pen. What do you guys think? Yeah, I really like it, and it's really comfortable to hold. Really, you know, really does feel nice and comfortable. And what I'll do, I'm not going to go straight to time lapse because I know that some of you guys said that you like to have listened to me chat away and everything before I go getting into the actual. Maybe for me chat in before I, you know, over time lapse. So what I'll do, I'll chew a little bit of a chat, maybe tell the odd funny story. And then I will carry on and then do some time lapse. Because I don't think you're going to want to hear me um, chatting for 24 hours straight, do you? <laughs> Nobody wants that. I don't know why I'm looking at the camera because like, you guys can't even see me. Nah. But yeah, right, so let's get cracking on with this and yeah, we will shall see how it comes out because I'm looking again. I know it's another ladybird, but I love doing like, I have, I've really enjoyed doing all these same ones again and again and again. So yeah, I'm going to go and get myself comfy on the sofa in the living room and we shall carry on doing this. All right, guys. So I've done some of it already. Um, I know that some of you guys said you'd prefer some more talking over uh, time lapse. So I thought I'd tell some of my funny Sophie and Molly stories and maybe a couple of other little things as well. So yeah. Um, yeah, that's about it really. So I've done obviously done this bit so far. 
uh, well not all of it but because I just tend to try and just carry on doing colours at a time to be a few little ones like this if it's a big one I'll do sections but obviously with these little ones I just do little I just carry on colours basically so my favourite Sophie story so I used to live in a different town with an ex and we had this really lovely walk um, near to where I used to live. It had a really nice little river and everything and Sophie used to go swimming in it. This is before I had Molly. And um, we, we used to go there basically every day in the matter of the weather. Sophie used to love that walk. She really did. It was her favourite, one of her favourite places to go. She used to love to go in the water. She was a proper water dog. She absolutely loved it. She would go swimming every day in the water and everything. So one day, Sophie was doing her thing, running around, going crazy, going for swims, jumping in the water, coming to me. She'd always get out and come over to me and shake herself off. Yep, every single time she used to come and get me wet. Naughty girl. <laughs> so one day we were down there and Sophie was doing her thing. And there was this lady came along and she was in a Sunday best. And normally we'd hardly ever see anybody there. Literally, this lady appeared out of nowhere. And before I could either call Sophie back, get her on the lead, because she was a jumper when she was little. She was still training and everything. She, was, she wasn't even a year old at the time. And obviously we were working on her jumping up at people and everything. And before I could even call her back, she'd run over to this lady and jumped up at her to say hello. And, oh, this poor lady was covered in mud from Sophie. Oh, I could have just, if the ground could open up, and swallow me, I would have, literally, I would have been so grateful. She jumped up at this poor lady who was in her Sunday best. And she was absolutely covered in water and mud. And I ran over to Sophie, grabbed her. And I just, I was expecting a huge argument and everything. And I stood there and I was like apologising to the lady. And I said, if you want to send me the bill for the cleaning and everything, I'll pay for it. And this lady was just like, don't worry about it. She's a dog. She was happy to see me. She came to say hello. It's absolutely fine. And I was just, I couldn't believe it. Because 19 out of 10, because she was naughty. And literally, I would always grab her, put her on the lead. But sometimes you just don't see people. And she literally, she jumped up this poor lady before I even had a chance to grab her. But this lady, she was absolutely fine. And she she just laughed about it. She said, don't worry about it. It's fine. It's a bit of dirt. It's going to wash off. And uh, I've never met somebody who was just absolutely, unless they were like walking a dog themselves. But normally if the person hasn't got a dog with them, they're normally really stuck up and really like, really rude about it and everything. Even if I stand there apologising and everything. And this lady, she was fantastic. She was, she was brilliant. She just kept saying hello to Sophie and giving her loads of loves and cuddles and everything and saying... Oh, don't worry about it. It's just a bit of dirt. It's fine. It'll wash off. You know, that's what washing machines are made for. And I was just said to her, I said, you are fantastic. I am so sorry. And she's going, no, it's absolutely fine. She goes, she was happy to see me. She wanted to come and say hello. And that's what she did. She came and said hello. I said, but you're filthy now. And you're going, are you on your way to church? She went, yeah, I'm on my way to church. But what's a bit of dirt? She goes, I've got a funny story to tell now that a dog was really happy to see me and 
yeah she goes it's absolutely fine she said she goes honestly a bit of dirt doesn't hurt anybody and she was absolutely brilliant she she was a she was a black lady and she was in a sunday best and you know the beautiful bright colors they wear and everything and she looked absolutely beautiful and she was ab she was absolutely a lovely lady and she really did look beautiful what she was wearing and she was she was fantastic she just you know she just rolled with it she went don't worry about it it's absolutely fine and i i just couldn't believe that i met somebody who so wonderful as her who was just so so okay with getting up some dirt on her because most people you know it's quite funny if i was just eating like like a chocolate ice cream or something and like Sophie was sat right next to me and people be like oh watch watch your ice cream with her you know she's gonna eat you and dogs and chocolate ain't good for dogs or i'd put it on the sofa next to her like if I had chocolate or something i put it on the sofa next to her and she Sophie was one of the only dogs that I have ever known who does not like chocolate. And I went, what do you mean? Sophie's going to eat the chocolate. She went, yeah. They're like, yeah, she's going to eat the chocolate. I went, she don't like chocolate. And they were like, what do you mean? I said, look, watch this. So I put the chocolate bar up to her. She took one sniff it and turned her head. She honestly, she did not like chocolate i the reason why i knew that is because i used to buy her the doggy chocolate drops when she was a puppy for training and she never ate them well she ate one or two but after that she didn't eat them and i was like oh it's a bit weird and then on the walk i was like oh maybe they just don't taste that nice and then on like when i used to take four walks and everything and we have become another across another nice dog and everything. I used to say to her, oh, can I give him a chocolate drop? You know, a doggy chocolate drop. And he used to say, yeah, that's fine. And used to, again, the dogs used to wolf him up. And I was like, oh, okay. And then I was like, oh, well, maybe Sophie doesn't like chocolate. So obviously I tried it with, like, and I was eating a normal chocolate bar, put it in her direction, and she just ignored it. And I was like, okay, Sophie doesn't like chocolate. That's fantastic. So, yeah, I never had to worry about leaving chocolate around with Sophie. Molly, on the other hand, she had the biggest sweet tooth going. You know, I'd have to watch her like the devil and Tia as well. My um, The dog my husband had when I met him, she, oh, she was a nightmare with chocolate. We had to make sure we hid it and everything, you know, never keep that out with her she she would devour it if she had a chance so yes tia loved chocolates molly had a sweet tooth if my mum happened to leave anything like if she left anything in her bag like a packet of sweets or um some mints she would get into my mum's bag and she'd She'd eat all, absolutely eat all. She was a nightmare, Molly was. She had a major sweet tooth. And, yeah, it was quite funny. And the amount of times my mum used to message me go, she's got into my bag again, she's eating my sweets. And I'd be like, well, you should put your bag out of the way. You should know by now Molly's got a sweet tooth. She's, oh, she was a nightmare, though. She would hunt it out anything she would that dog but yeah molly was a sweet tooth dog um one of my favorite molly stories is um we we were walking at a field one day and there was these kids playing football right on the other side and didn't think anything of it before we knew it molly was gone and i mean she just disappeared to run towards these kids because molly was ball mad she loved her ball that was her favorite thing in the world she was ball crazy 
you know, some dogs' treats worked for training. Molly, it was her ball. That was the best way we could get, you know, that was what her reward was, was her ball. We were in a training and that with her. And yeah, so back to the story. So you see these kids at the other side of the thing. And before, like, we could grab her, put on a lead and that, she was gone. And no matter what, calling her back, was thinking, there was this kid playing football, you know, kicking the ball in the air and everything. And Molly got right in the middle of them on this ball when it was coming back down. And she headed it about four times. So she, like, bopped it in the air once, bopped in the air twice, bopped in the air again. And these kids all just stood there gobsmacked at Molly. She... I'll tell you what, I would never think that dogs would have ball skills. But she just stood just in the middle of all these kids. And the kids all stood there and everything. And then she grabbed the ball and she started running off of it. So, of course, there's us all there and the kids and everything running after her. And she, she thought it was a great game, you know. <laughs> I'm like, the kids are all like... Trying to get the ball and everything, and we grabbed her and everything. I said the sorry to the kids, and they were like, Oh, no, it's fine. We love watching your dog playing football. We said, We thought it was funny. So they said, But we didn't want her to run home with the ball. I said, Nah, she would have done that. She would have just wanted you to chase her around the field, as they do at that age. Or before we got older, you know, they'd kick the ball for her, and she'd run and bring it back to them and everything. She absolutely loved any form of ball. If we forgot to take her ball over the field with us, well, you know what it's like when you're trying to get the dogs ready to go out for a walk. They're all running around you and everything, and all excited. And occasionally we'd forget to take a dog ball with us. And we'd... I where. The field near us, I said, oh, it's a beautiful field. It really is a lovely field. We are so lucky to have such a nice field where I live. It's really big and loads of trees and everything. And in the um, summer months, the council lets the grass grow. And all they do is cut paths in all the long grass. And so there's like, dogs can run through you know, all the long grass. Molly used to look like a kangaroo. She used to jump. You used to just see her head jump up and down throughout the um, grass. Which was, at, it was so funny. You know, she used to just see her little head jumping up through this grass and everything. And um, she would always find a ball if we forgot it. Just like um, one of her pups, Bella. Um, she would always find a ball. Yeah, they, um, Molly had some puppies. It was a total accident. Um, basically, when I split up with my ex, um, I moved home with Sophie and Molly. I took them both with me. And because they were safer with me, I looked. I used to be the one that used to walk them and everything most of the time and used to make sure I, I was working two jobs in between each job. Literally, I had about half an hour to get home, quickly walk them, feed them, make sure they were okay and get back out the door to get to the next job. And yes, I used to, you know, make sure that they were okay before I used to go on to the next job. Felt really bad, you know, because obviously working two jobs and having dogs, it wasn't fair on them at all. Which is why I took them both when I moved back to my parents. Because they were with somebody that all day. You know, they were with somebody a lot more time and everything. So I made sure that they were my number one priority. They, they were happy at my parents. You know, there was somebody there all day with them. They can go to the toilet whenever they wanted and everything and I, it was more peace of mind for me that they was with somebody when I moved when I moved back to my parents for a bit after I split up with my a-hole ex and yeah it was just a lot it was a better situation for them me moving back to the parents and um 
I remember one day we used to, we took them out for a walk down the beach. They loved going to the beach. Absolutely loved it. You know, we had some really f amazing walks down the beach. And one day, like, Molly was running out of the water with her ball and it, it, it went out a bit too far. And I thought, oh, my God, at this rate, I'm going to call the Coast Guard to come and get her. Because she was literally following this ball. The tide was taking it out. And I was so worried that she was just not going to come back at all. Because she was chasing this ball out to sea. In the end, she gave up and come back. But that was a really worrying time. It really was. So, our latest ladybird is done. What do you guys think? I do like it. But, Palmy thinks it looks a bit dull. Does that make sense? What do you guys think? It just doesn't, it a, it's a, there's more browns in the ladybird. And we haven't really had many browns. So it does seem to just be that little bit duller than, say, other ones. I know you obviously you can't see properly compared. But, do you see what I mean? It just doesn't seem that bright and maybe because there's only 20 colors in this it did really affect the overall result because it just doesn't seem even like compared let me look at the oh, round one which is that one there that's a round one there second one in and that one seems to pop a lot more than this one obviously we found so far the home fund this paint they have seemed to be like the most like <coughs> excuse me really detailed but this one it just doesn't seem to pop you know it just seems quite dull compared to the rest obviously being round drills will affect it slightly because you don't get that with square drills we find it's a bit more sharper then with round drills, it doesn't seem to be as sharp, the images. So we obviously, there is that to contend with. But I do think, because there was only 20 colours in this, which isn't, this is definitely the least we've had so far out of colours. It's definitely affected, I do think, it's definitely affected the overall outcome. So that is one, that's the main negative I found with this seller. But the positives are, the drills were all really nice. I did enjoy doing this one because I obviously I ordered, um, got it in round. And I have got more rounds as well. Now I'm occasionally throwing the odd round one when I'm doing my orders. Just to... You know, because I do know that some people only do rounds, so they prefer to have, to see the occasional round one. But, you know, the print, the print was pretty good. The, the drills have gone pretty close together as well. Obviously, you know, with two rounds and squares, there's always going to be gaps in rounds. But overall, and I'm not the most tidy as a person when I'm doing rounds. That's why I mainly do squares, because I find I'm tidier with squares and that but they have gone pretty and i'm all caught up on the draw oh. so there we go so there are some gaps and everything but obviously it's round of course there's gonna be gaps but yeah i did enjoy doing this one don't get me wrong i just think made the most probably the lack of colors did let them down that is where they thingy and they didn't like we've noticed some are picking up the the green in the flowers as some aren't it's it has been quite interesting to see the differences between the sellers how some are picking up the green and some aren't picking up the green so that's another thing that has been quite interesting and again we didn't you know three tens in this one which is a shame you know because we'd like I like to see the quality of the, of the free tens from sellers, but we didn't have free tens, which is not the end of the world. 
But yeah, I am, I am pleased with it. I just think if they have lightened up the image, they've lighted it up too much. Or they just obviously just chose not to use many colours, which is how some of these, the more cheaper sellers, are affording to keep it, you know, without having to keep their costs down, basically. Spare drills as well. We did get Debbie. I'm using it. <laughs> I've run out of back and I'm waiting for him to arrive again. Story of my life, that one. Right, yes, yeah, so I'm using it, Debbie. So spare drills, we do get quite a few, as you can see, spares. So we do get plenty. I wasn't at all thinking, oh, am I going to have enough? Well, maybe that one. But I think like some of them, it was like something silly. Like I needed like 24 of one colour. So I wasn't too worried about it. But yeah, we did get plenty of spares with it, as you guys can see. It's mostly just all blurry, a big blurry mess. But yeah, I was, I was, I am pleased with it. It's just a shame that, that obviously they didn't use quite enough colours, which I think has affected the overall outcome of this diamond painting. Which is a shame because obviously, you know, the quality overall was, was pretty good. And obviously we didn't get no creases in it and everything. So yeah. But yeah, so that's this week's review, all done, dusted and complete. So I am going to stop this video now and get started on with the next one. So um, we'll just quickly do the old spill. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below what you think. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. I just hit just over 230. Oh my God. I can't, I just can't believe how anybody actually wants to watch me i just it just still hasn't gotten in this little brain of mine that anybody actually wants to watch me you know do you know do my own little youtube channel basically so yeah it has been pretty crazy but i am still loving it so yeah so that's it for today and i shall see you all in the next video Thank you all ever so much for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye.